Hello everyone, I'm Paul Ferguson. With me is Richard Beaupre. Welcome to World Championship Ice Hockey on Eurosport. Our coverage continues today with games from the top teams in the medal round. Big crowd in attendance, looking for the kind of hockey that they've been expecting throughout this tournament, the final four. Well, let's take a look at those four teams. As the crowd really gets set for this one. The Soviets are here, they've won six, tied one, no losses, 13 points, and these guys are deadly. A very powerful skating team with a lot of world-class experience. The Swedes finished in second after the first phase of the competition with three wins, four ties, no losses, and they can also put the puck in the net right till the end of the period. The Canadians, a lot of NHL class on the team, one four, tied one, two losses, nine points, finished ahead of the Americans, and they've got scoring power. The Americans are here too. A youthful team with a lot of ability and they can beat anybody on the day. They won three, tied two, and lost two, and they just edged out the Finns to finish in that fourth and final position. The table, well, they have no points because they have lost all the points going into the second round. They'll start from scratch. The Soviets, the Swedes, the Canadians, and the Americans, the four best in the world. The Soviets are favored. The Americans are the Cinderella team. The Swedes and the Canadians are very tough as well. Filov will start in goal. Fatisov, he's been around for years, the big defenseman. Kravchuk, one of my favorites. Malakhov is improving all the time out. Kosorov with NHL experience. Biakin, a hustler, goes up and down the wing. Kazatanov and Konstantinov, also with NHL experience. They'll play the body, and up front, Pavel Bura, number 10. Everybody in the world trying to sign this young kid. Nemchinov is a very good forward, number 12. Kamensky, one of the top scorers in the tournament. Watch out for him, and the experience of Makarov. Semak at center with Butsayev and Zamnov. We saw him last time out, scored a couple of goals. Bikov, number 27. Watch him, too. He can really pump him in from anywhere. The Americans, they're the underdogs. Last time out, they were beaten 12 to 2. Van Beesbrook will be the goaltender. The New York Rangers star is here putting in a fine performance. Tredewich, the college uh, defenseman, is playing well. Weinrich, Wolinen, Peterson, Sacco, Manto, Goslin, and Williams, they're all playing well, but do they have the stuff to stay with the Soviet Union? They've got a good mix of college and NHL players. Amonti, one of the stars in the university ranks. He's going to be a great NHLer. McEachern's another one. Krieger, he's got great wheels, a very fast forward up front. Scored the big goal against the Finns. Brian Mullen, a very class NHL player. Dave Emma, the winner of the Hobie Baker Award for College Player of the Year. And young Jeremy Roenick, a star with the Chicago Blackhawks. He can do it all. So the faceoff, the Americans from right to left, Tredowitz gets that off the boards, and the Americans really will have their hands full from beginning to end. Kevin Miller got that up. We have three Swedish officials, Johansson, Anestead, and Larking handling this game, and Petisov, 32-year-old star, now with the New Jersey Devils, shot that one in, and Momanta along the boards. The pass intended for Cole, Mullen just over the line and Kamensky goes for a skate, runs into the official. Mullen is all over him. Fatisov puts it to the far side to Kusarov. Miller takes his man out of the uh, play. And I think that to stay with the Soviets, the USA are going to have to be physical. They're going to have to play the body all over the ice. Coach Tim Taylor is well aware of that. The Americans were last in the medal round in 1985. And they would dearly love to pick up gold, silver, or even bronze this time round. Right in front, the loose puck is there. Trapilov is down. Krieger goes after it. Ronick was buzzing beside the net. Now it's right in front. Ronick trying to get the handle on it. Couldn't get the shot away. And the Americans putting on the pressure in the first minute of play. Offside is the call as Nenchinov skated down the ice with Lomakin. And both of them with uh, Nemchinov on the right-hand side, just a bit too keen to get over that blue. American defenseman stepping up at the blue line. Nemchinov couldn't keep himself on sides. A great picture there. Tells the story that ice hockey is a family sport enjoyed by all ages, both sexes. 
throughout the world. Tredowitz, the return pass along the boards to Krieger. Krieger gets that out of the zone and the Soviets close in to pick it up. Ronick. Still with Ronick. Ronick gets that into the corner and that takes a bobble away from Krieger. He gets it to the far side. Weinrich flips it back into the corner. Semak tries to get it out and gets it as far as the hash marks. Tredewich will get there first. Weinrich roughing it up in the corner. Unlucky to get away with that one. Amonti brings it down the ice, gives it off to Mali. Mali on the backhand side. Had that one bounce off Kazatanov. Mali stays on his man as Konstantinov now gets it forward. Zamnov flips it into the center of the ice and the Soviets wait for support as they put it into the corner. Zamnov for the Soviets goes up against Peterson. Peterson to the far side looking for Fitzgerald. Tap back in by Konstantinov. Kozlov, number nine, being shadowed all the way back to the blue. Mali tries to kick it out over the line. Still, it's Kozlov. Makarov. Peterson along the boards. And the Soviets looking to get a change out there as Makarov loses it at center ice. Tries to get it back. And McKechern goes for a breather. Both teams changing. Wolinen tried to get his stick on that. Zelapukin was taken heavily out of the play, and the Americans, looking to string that simple pass together, couldn't do it on that occasion. And the whistle blows for the offside pass. So a good start for both teams. They're shaking off the cobwebs. And Viktor Tikhonov will be happy with his performance so far in this tournament. But now it's all about medals. Replay there, Zamnov being brought down. The play continued, another player being brought down. This is the kind of thing the Americans have got to do. They've got to take the body and keep the Russians from really creating a flow offensively. Biakin to the far side. Nice little tip up. Gutseyev. Tredowitz along the boards for Sacco. Back into the corner. Tredowitz being shadowed there by uh, Kvartlov. All the way back to the blue. Malakov took the shot. Zamnov tried to keep it in. And that goes back to number four, Malakov. Bringing it out slowly is Butsayev. Along the boards, dump and run. Wolinen gets there first. And that comes out into the neutral zone. No one there to collect. And eventually ends up at the far end of the rink. And we'll have our first icing call. Both teams feeling each other out. Everyone in the NHL is after Pavel Buda. Oh, that's in the net! Van Biesbrook partially screened on that. Batisov, well, surely that wasn't a shot. It was more of a pass. He just laid it on, and it trickled through. Very harmless-looking wrist shot from Batisov at the blue line. Van Biesbrook, he's looking through a couple of players. It's directed toward the goal just appears to go off a skate in front of Van Beesbrook and it's behind him. So first blood to the Soviets here in the first period with just over four minutes gone. Batisov with the shot on Van Beesbrook. I'm sure Van Beesbrook would like to have another shot at that one. Well, when you're playing at this level, it's not the kind of thing you like to see go in. Whether you're a player or a spectator, you want to see the good goals come. I'm not knocking that one. It counts on the scoreboard. But it's nothing really to rave about, especially for Fetisov. He's been noted for scoring some spectacular goals. The goal scorer picks it up and gets it into the neutral zone. Bikov tapped that forward, taken out by Manta. 
along the boards. Danton Cole getting a shove in there. Beekoff drops it back nicely. Beekoff runs into Wolanen. It's going to be the first penalty of the game. High sticking is the call. Crowd reaction as Danton Cole spins a couple of circles. Glares over at the referee, but it won't matter. He's going to get called anyways. High sticking. Not the kind of penalty the Americans can afford to take. They don't want to give the Soviets the power play. There's Cole taking Pavel Burra out along the boards. That's where the infraction occurred. The Soviets have scored 10 power play goals so far in the tournament. Not to be given too many chances. 24-year-old Winnipeg Jet star Danton Cole in his second time out for the USA, USA team overseas. We'll sit for a couple as Kravchuk starts it out for the Soviets on the power play. Breaking hard, the Soviets mean business. Nemchinov picks it up at the blue to the far side. A lot of time, Moranov, the shot. Van Biesbrook is down, the loose puck is right there. Lomakin got a swipe at it. The return pass, that's in the net. A power play goal. Miranov, number 14, celebrates for the Soviets. The Soviets made that look quite easily. A lot of action around the front of the goal. Nemchinov is taken out. Some good hustle from Lamakin. He keeps the puck going. All of the Americans have come back too deep. 14, Miranov comes in from his blue line spot. Van Biesbrook is down. No way he's going to get back up. He's totally out of it. The goaltender we're talking about lost his stick. He's struggling to get up. Big attempt there to get the glove up, but he just can't stop that puck. 2-0 now the score with just over five minutes gone. That was a power play goal from the Soviets, and they really do look sharp. Konstantinov, and we're going to have another penalty on the play. Krieger's not happy about that, and the Americans are in all sorts of trouble out there. Krieger will sit for two, and we'll take a short break as the Swedish official gives the high-sticking sign there, the hooking sign, to the scoreline. Welcome back to the first period. The Soviets lead this one 2 to nil as we take a look at Krieger. And the scorekeeper, not the scoreliner, is writing down his name, taking his number. That's his fourth penalty of the tournament. And once again, the Americans are a man down. I'm sure that Tim Taylor is going to have a word about the discipline. Come on, guys. It's nice to have the adrenaline flowing. It's nice to be psyched up for a game, but you've got to use your heads. We can't afford to take penalties like this. Soviets are really going to make them pay the price if they're in the penalty box the whole game. Kazitanov up on the wing. Kozlov to the far side. Rock to Kozlov, and he was taken out of the play. The net was open, Van Biesburg had gone the wrong way. And the Soviets look so relaxed. Zamnov takes a hit along the boards, does a couple of pirouettes and brings himself right back into the play. Zamnov drops it back. Makarov, oh, it's so pretty out there watching the Soviets throw the puck around. Konstantinov. Kazatanov flips it in. Zamnov again dumped to the ice with 115 on the penalty. Kozlov right in front. Makarov. Kozlov. Makarov right in front. He couldn't get the handle on that. And the Soviets will have to come out and regroup. Makarov on the power play with two kids. It's not going to be the last time you'll hear these names. 26 Zamnov is a 20 year old. And number nine Kozlov is an 18 year old. They're going to be around for a while. Where do they get him from? All the way back to the blue. Kazatanov, the return shot. That takes a deflection off Weinrich. Weinrich goes in after his man, and the Soviets still hang on to it. Kozlov skates behind the goal. Konstantino picks it up at the blue. Makarov takes the shot. That goes off of Goslin and is eventually cleared down the ice with 22 seconds on the US penalty. Kazatanov to Beekoff, drops it back. A lot of passes before they get into the neutral zone. Kusadov, everyone touches the puck when you're out on the ice. 
with the Soviet team. Kamensky tried to get a handle on that. And Fatisov to the far side. The Americans have successfully killed off the penalty. Krieger steps back on the ice. Weinrich tries to bring it out, gets it along the boards. Krieger with Danton Cole. Weinrich. Up slowly to the blue. Cole turns and goes the other way. The return pass is nice into the neutral zone. Ronick on the left wing. Miller, rather, dumped just at the hash marks, and Vikov picks it up. Pavel Boda now. The Americans starting to put in some forechecking. Cole couldn't hang on to that, and that's tip back. Cole. Kusadov with Fatisov, and Fatisov gets it in the corner. The Soviets threading that into the neutral zone. Manta. Looking for someone to pass to. Kusadov gets a glove on it. Pavel Berta. Ronick goes after him, but he can't get the puck. That's all the way down the ice. Not far enough for an icing, and the Americans trying to regroup and bring it out. The long pass intended for Krieger is too far. Butsayev gets it to Malakoff. The long pass right up the middle. Manta intercepts and clears it out of the zone. Vilyakin shoots it back in. Nine minutes gone on the first period. The score is the Soviet Union two. The Americans nil. Vyakin. A long pass. Peterson. Goslin. McKechn taps it forward nicely. Ronick to the far side. Intended for Amonte. To McKechn. Back to Amonte. Too hard for him. McKechn right in front. Amonte. Couldn't get the shot away, and the break is on now. The Soviets, the shot there coming from Bartolov. But Kekern picks it off along the boards and tries to get it out to Mali. It's tapped back in, and again, pressure from the Soviets. Peterson off the boards hard to the blue. Mali breaks up the center of the ice, and the Americans shoot it into the corner. But Kekern goes after it and loses out on that contest. Mali, midway point in the first period. The Americans now starting to grow in confidence as Weinrich gets it in. Mali slams on the brakes, goes the other way. Fitzgerald, the shot, the save is there. Trefilov gets his first real taste of the action since the first minute mark. Semak, wide of the target, and that goes to the far side. Good end-to-end -end action. Both teams opening the play up. Not taking the body very much. It's pretty offensive-minded at the moment. Tredowitz. A lot of room to skate as he goes forward with McNeil. That comes off his skates. And back on the attack now, the Soviets. Lomakin. Flips that into the corner. Miranov to the far side to Nemchinov. Taken out of the play nicely by Tredowitz. But the Soviets pick it up behind the goal. A lot of time to come out. Van Biesbrook makes the save. Nemchinov can't get the shot away. Semak is there. Now that's in the net. Nemchinov eventually got a stick to it. And Van Biesbrook is in trouble. John Van Biesbrook very slow to react to the shot. There's a lot of action around the front of the goal. Good pressure being applied by the Soviets. They're really hungry for the puck. Nemchinov just kind of shoots it through a few skates. There's the original shot from Lomakin. The rebound, Van Biesbrook's back up. He appears to be ready. Shot is taken. He just can't quite get the handle on it. There you see it. It's coming through the skates. Quick shot. Van Biesbrook reacts, just gets a piece of it, but it's behind him for goal number three. Emchinov with two and two in the series. With 11.08 gone in the first period. It's now three to nil for the Soviets. Kazatanov being chased by McNeil. And that save comes from Trefilov. Wolinen has a chance for a shot to the far side, and uh, Kozlov picks it up and slows it down, gets it right in front. A brave move from him, but he saw that Kazatanov was there all alone. The cutoff sidesteps Brown, and the whistle blows. Makarov always looking so relaxed out there with that wide skating style. 
He's got a very wide stance. He stays low to the ice, but he's like a snake the way he moves back and forth, side to side. He's very hard to hit. And with a low center of gravity, he's very hard to take off the puck. The Americans are going to have to start taking the body more. They don't want to get into one of these freewheeling type of games with the Soviets. They'll be skated into the ice. Makarov, a long pass, takes the deflection. Picked up at the blue line. Zamnov got a skate to that. And the Americans now fire it all the way into Soviet territory. But Makarov is there to pick it up. Just over 12 minutes gone in the first period. The Soviets having a free reign out here. Kozlov dropping it back to Zamnov. Zamnov along the boards. Miller on him. And again, it's freedom around that net. And that's in the net. Batisov waltzed in from the blue line, unmolested, and was allowed to poke that into the goal. Van Biesbrook again stranded. The experience of Fatisov, he sees his spot, he picks it, and he comes flying in from the blue line. There he is, sneaking in behind everybody, reads the play. The Americans are all standing around in their own zone. There's Fatisov, puts it upstairs over Van Biesbrook. Van Biesbrook has been going down a lot. He's flopping a lot, and that's a sign that he's not settled into this game. The Americans bring it out now, and that takes a deflection into the crowd. We're going to take a short break. Join us in a moment with more action from Finland. We'll be right back. Still in the first period, and the Americans are struggling. They really are going through a bad patch, a lot of pressure. from the boys in red. Well, I may have said the Soviets are struggling. I mean, the Americans are struggling. Pavel yeah. Buda tries to get a stick on that as that goes all the way back to Weinrich. 13 minutes in the first period have elapsed. Kusadov takes his man out and the Americans start to hit along the boards. Americans are going to have to keep taking the body. They can't let the Soviets free wheel and cruise into their zone. Amante along the left wing, dropping that back for Ronick. Ronick squeezed out of the play. Pavel Buda doing a great job of back checking. Eventually gets the pass. Or tried to get it up to Kamensky. Weinrich had something to say about it and put it into the far corner. McEachern. Manta. Long pass close to the blue. Fitzgerald way offside. The Americans just too keen to get over that blue line. Tom Fitzgerald skating around the world here. Comes from the left wing into the center over toward the right wing. He's got two men up front with him. It's basically a three on two situation. One back checker coming back, but he's not really in the play yet. And they get their lines crossed up and are well offsides face off in the neutral zone. McEachern gets it back. The return pass. Malley takes a shot, and that's deflected off of Putsayev. Right out front, that misses the goal. It's wide open, it's in the net. The big defenseman, Craig Wollinen, was there to put it into the open net, and everyone in the rink, except for the Soviet supporters, is on their feet. Well, the Americans needed something to happen for them. McKecker with all kinds of time in the slot, shoots it wide. Very well read by Craig Wollinen. Comes in from his blue line spot. There you see him breaking toward the goal. Trofilov is well and truly out of the play. He's gone way out to take the shot away from McKecker. There's no way he's going to get back. Wollinen's just got to put it to the backhand and tuck it in. Nicely done. Wollinen, Quebec Nordique star has brought the Americans back into the game. Four to one the score. And that's the kind of thing they needed to get themselves pumped up. The Swedish referee not happy with what's happening at center. So Johansson calls for them to change the personnel. It's eventually tipped back in and Muranov 
The defenseman gets it over to Kravchuk. Kravchuk taken out of the play. Semak comes in to help out. And Brown is doing a great job of forechecking. Brown picks it up in the corner now. The Americans have put themselves into action. The shot, that's in the goal! And the Americans have come right back. Sacco with Brown doing some great forechecking in the far corner. The score is now 4-2. This is the kind of game the Americans have got to play. Take the body, get in there and forecheck hard. Not let the Soviets wind up and get out of their zone. There you can see Joe Sacco. He sticks with it. The puck comes out. Trafilov once again caught floundering. He can't get back over to that side of the goal quick enough. Sacco manages to slip it behind him. Well, he said the Americans needed a break. Now they've gotten two. What can they do? Can they get themselves back into this one? 4-2, they're down. First point of the tournament there for Sacco. 14-25 gone in the first period. Now this is becoming a game. Tredowitz. The pass into Cole. Cole gets it up on the right wing. Mullen takes his man out. Cole picks it up along the boards. He's got Miller out front. The shot, that takes a deflection. There's going to be a penalty on the play. The American still in possession. Mullen right out front. High and into the far corner. Konstantinov touches that, and the Soviets will be called for holding. This is just what the Americans wanted. This is what their game plan was from the beginning. Four check card, let's be aggressive. It's been proven that the Soviets can be susceptible if they're penned in their own zone. They don't like it. They like to be able to free wheel. They're in a lot of trouble. The veteran Vladimir Konstantinov forced to put the hold on. Dave Tredowitz nearly had a goal as he came in from his blue line spot. Took the wrist shot just over the goal. The Americans are on a good spell. Taken off, must be concerned at this point. He had a 4-0 lead just a moment ago as we approach the 15-minute mark of the first period. It's now 4-2. Wollinen and Sacco have struck quickly for the Americans. Weinrich reached for that one and couldn't get it. Pumped to the far side, Tredowitz. All the way in, Kusadov takes a hit there from Mullen. That goes out, and Bikoff picks it up. Watch this guy, he's dangerous. Bikoff gets it away from Mullen and Miller. Kazatanov. Kusadov slowly down the ice. Van Biesbrook comes out and leaves it there. Dikoff will go after his man. The Americans have scored six power play goals, but they've also allowed eight shorthanded goals scored on them. They've got to be careful. This is where the Soviets can be dangerous. Some sloppy play. Kamensky and Bikoff can do the damage out there. They've got the puck now. Eventually taken out of the play. Ronick. Taps that forward on the right wing. The rebound comes to Ronick, and he's brought down. The Swedish official says, play on, play on. Kazatanov to the far side. Kusadov takes the shot. Ben Beesbrook makes the save way out of his goal. And the Americans now slow it down and get it out of the zone. 40 seconds on the penalty. Less than four minutes on the first period. USA are going through a change here and the Soviets are taking advantage of the situation to hang on to the puck and kill off this penalty. Goslin. Guy Goslin. A long pass right up the center intended for number three. Amonti just didn't come off. 12 seconds on the penalty. Not a great power play from the Americans. Lomakin to the top of the circle. Lomakin fakes the shot. He'll go for a skate to kill off this penalty. All the way back to the top of the circle. Van Biesbrook is there. The loose puck, Nemchinov couldn't get a hold on it. And Krieger puts it away. Ronick and Krieger break hard to the far side to Amonti. Amonti, a nice little move as he spun around and brought down right across the rink. And there's going to be another penalty on the play. Second penalty of the competition. They're playing for gold, silver. Silver and bronze now. The top four will play each other once. 
the Soviets, the Swedes, the Canadians, and the Americans. And the other four teams in the tournament fight it out at the bottom of the table. They're out of the medal round. But right now, it's all about pride and gold, silver, and bronze as the Americans have another power play out there. Wollinen hands that one off. And you can see the big red machine lining up on the blue as Ronick goes after and That's hammered off the plexi all the way down the ice. Miranov getting a piece of that. Weinrich. Krieger. He's got a Monty and Tredowitz. Tredowitz taps that in. Krieger had a chance to pick it up. Handed it off to Ronick right in front of Monty. Shoots. Oh, and a great save by Trefilov. Amonti, number three, was left right in front of the goal. Good work from this line. Ronick and Amonti have such a knack for finding each other. They were prep school line mates, enjoying this tournament, playing together again. Amonti would like to have another chance at that one. Has the time, takes a quick wrist shot. Trefilov robs him with the glove. Well, it's very unusual indeed to see someone wide open in front of a Soviet goal, even on a, a power play situation. Danton Cole, the long shot there coming from Peterson, again held by Trefilov. Tom Peterson, another college kid. Good look at him, University of Minnesota. Superstar who made the big pass to Krieger for that goal against the Finns. He's enjoying himself. It's good to see a good mix of players here, NHL and college kids. Tim Taylor, of course, involved with the Olympic team, really enjoys getting the college kids out on the ice and getting them the international experience that they need. 112 on the penalty for the Soviet Union. And USA taking their time to get this one going. Danton Cole skates over to it, the long shot coming from Peterson, takes a deflection, Van Biesbrook will have to come way out to Goslin. Kamensky was chasing that. Kamensky and Bikoff doing a great job of killing off the penalties for the Soviet Union. Bikoff has it now. They really do look like they're out for an afternoon skate. The Soviets are so um, concerned about how they play and they're so able to conserve their energy out there. They do what they have to do when they have to do it. Kamensky against Miller. Miller is there with Mullen. Mullen and Miller. Danton Cole, four to two the score. That comes right back to the blue, the shot. That takes a deflection. Beekoff got in front of that. Goslin goes after him and picks it up. Another penalty on the play. Johansson with his arm in the air. Takes a look at Peterson. Peterson's off will be in the neutral zone. Both teams with a man in the penalty box, but in 15 seconds, the Soviets will be back to full strength. Semak. Semak, a rink-wide pass with one minute to go on the period. Manta got it up to Wolinen. Wolinen. Puts it back to Manta. All the way out as far as the hash marks. Period 134 on the penalty. Peterson sitting it out in the penalty box for USA. Larking, the Swedish linesman, talking to uh, the Americans and telling them to back off. Lamakin along the boards, taken out nicely. The giveaway there is to Semak. Semak eventually loses it to Wolinen. Lomakin takes a chop at it. Petisov backhands it casually along the boards and gets the return pass. Petisov takes the shot. The rebound is right there. Fitzgerald picks it up and gets it out of the zone. It's a Soviet player down on the ice in front of the American goal. The whistle blows. They'll all go and have a look. Semak getting up slowly. Blood coming out of him onto the ice. There's the action. He skates through the crease. Van Beesbrook letting him know that he's really not supposed to do that. A 
Oh, Van Beesbrook very lucky to get away with that one. He clearly gave him a shot. Van Beesbrook there with a lot of experience with the New York Rangers, showing that he too can be rough. But uh, whoa, that was a bit out of order. 12 seconds now on the clock. Nemchinov loses out, and it's tapped forward by Fitzgerald to the Soviet D. Makarov lets that one fly all the way down the ice. There goes the buzzer to end the first period. It started strongly for the Soviet Union. Fetisov, Miranov, Nemchinov, and Fetisov scoring. And then the Americans coming right back into it with Wolanin and Sacco. The scoreline, the Soviet Union for the Americans too. We're gonna take a break now. Join us in a moment for the start of the second period. We'll be right back with more action from Finland. The USA, there's the scoreline. Four to two, the Soviets lead it as we get set for this face-off, Johansson, the Swedish referee, has had his fair share of penalties to call in the first period, but he really did miss that one by Ben Beesbrook, right, or right at the end of the period, Ben Beesbrook. I'll say it correctly this time, as he took a chop at uh, Lomakin. The goal from uh, Wallen and really lifted the American spirits. They pulled uh, two back in the period. Certainly looked as though the uh, Soviets were in control up to that point. 48 seconds on the USA penalty. As the Soviets playing from right to left started out. All the way along the boards to Kamensky. Kusadov goes deep into his own territory to pick it up. A slow, deliberate build-up. 18 seconds, Fetisov. The penalty time clock ticking away. As that's flipped into the far corner, Pavel Budo. Stick handling, back to the blue, to Fetisov, to the far side, the one-timer. The reset, that's in the net! The Soviets have scored another one. Van Beesbrook was beaten on a power play goal. Big shot from the point. The save is made off a of pad, but it goes back. Once again, the Americans standing around. There's a shot from the blue line. The pad save is made. The Americans can't get control of it. The defensemen don't move quick enough to take Bikov out of the play. They're all watching. Bikov drills it high over Van Beesbrook, who was down on his knee. Bikov picks up his third goal of the tournament. Five to two now. Another power play goal there, and the Soviets coming out, firing on all cylinders here in the second period. Weinrich taps that forward to Krieger. Krieger goes for a skate now. Down the center of the ice, Krieger tips that off, and there really wasn't any communication there. A two-on-one break, three-on-one break now. The shot, and Ben Griesbrook missed it. But the shot came from Lomak, and it wasn't a hard one. He really did kind of fan on that. Krieger now breaks. Krieger going in on the backhand side. Tries to get it across, and a great defensive move there by Kravchuk. Kravchuk to Menchinov. Kravchuk did well to get that. Krieger's the guy that can really fly. Kravchuk showing he's not slow either for a defenseman his size. Got back and did a good job. Mali. Going up against Kravchuk. Kravchuk really won't let him go anywhere. Comes back to Mali. He takes the shot. It's a weak one. Misses the net. Goslin goes in after it. Tries to get it in front, and he does. The loose puck is there. Trefilov. Mali's banging away on it. Petrilov picks up the puck. Fitzgerald was there, too, to help out. Trefilov, happy that his players remembered him and came back to help him eventually. The play is going to the goal. There's a deflection, Trefilov goes down, bobbles it just for a second. Well, he's bobbling it for about one split second. Mally and Fitzgerald are both chopping away at him. USA trying to bring themselves back into this game. 
They trail by three here in the second period. A brilliant start from the Soviets with Bikov taking that shot from point blank range. The pass to Zemnov goes under his skate and McEachern picks it up. Mali lost it along the boards. Koslov on the left wing. A nice little short pass to Makarov. He got to the far side to Zemnov. As far as the blue line, the shot takes a deflection. And the Soviets now are all over the Americans, throwing the pass around. Makarov looking totally in control. Makarov, one little move there, gets around one man. Makarov waits for support. The backhand pass to Zemnov, right in front. The shot, Konstantinov took the shot, and Van Wiesbrook made the save. And the Americans with Fitzgerald to the far side of the ring. No one there to pick it up. Konstantinov gets himself back into the plate. He was right in on goal a moment ago, and Konstantinov tips it over the blue. Both teams changing. It's all Soviets at the moment. They're really in control. The Americans passing looks sloppy. They just can't seem to string anything together. Kozlov, Gutseyev, taken out of the play right on the red line. McNeil coming in to take the shot. Ran into too many red shirts. Butsyev gets it up. Butsyev takes the shot. The rebound is right there. And this time, Van Beesbrook makes the save. But I must admit, Van Beesbrook does not look steady out there. He's had his moments. Quick shot taken high in the slot. Puck is bouncing like mad. Both goalies are really seeing crazy bounces in front of them. A little help from Wallen to make sure that Van Beesbrook can cover the puck. Well, I'm gonna stick my neck out and say that Coach Tim Taylor should pull the goaltender and put a new one on. I really don't think Van Beesbrook is ready for this one. Williams along the boards. Williams picks up his own rebound. Dufilov watches that go into the corner. Miller goes in hard with Cole. Mullen right out front. No one there with a white shirt on to pick it up. Fatisov collects and goes for a skate in the neutral zone. The Soviets very rarely try to do it on their own. They were wait for a full team support as Weinrich into Soviet territory. Along the boards, Mullen, this is his man, and that's tipped over to Zamnov to the far side. The drop pass, right in front, the tip is there. And Van Beesbrook again, wide. The net was wide open with Van Beesbrook on the far side of the goal. Zamnov worked his way in nicely. Miller, Mullen, Cole. Mullen waiting out front. And the Americans in all sorts of problems trying to get something going. That's in the net! Well, just when I said they were having trouble, Mullen got the tip. Trefilov was going the other way, and he couldn't stop the motion. A lovely little change of direction. Cole gets it over. Every time it looks like the Americans are going to get blown out of the rink, they seem to pull something back and get themselves at least back into the game a little bit. A shot from Danton Cole. Not much of a chance for Trefilov on this. Mullen very alertly just gets a stick up and deflects it behind him. That's a nice goal. Seven points in the tournament for Brian Mullen. Five to three now. Just when we are about to say that the Americans are well and truly out of it, they come back and prove us wrong. Pavel Buda takes a hammering from Krieger. Bikov looking for Kamensky. That's taken off his stick. Miranov is manhandled at the red line. Kamensky to the far side. Krieger. Krieger not afraid to take on the Soviet defenseman. Manta to the far side. Krieger now off the uh, boards looking for Amonti. Pavel Buda. Buda. One-on-one -on -one situation, and this time Wollinen takes him right out of the play. Buda came off second best on that encounter. 
Jeremy Roenick to Amonti. Amonti takes the shot and misses the net. The USA throwing the passes together now. Pavel Buda to Bikoff. Tredovic goes after him. Tredovic again gets a skate on it and comes up with the puck. Good work from the American defense. Wallenin and then Tredowitz, both taking the body well and getting control of the puck. The quick pass there to McEachern just didn't come off. Pavel Buda gives that up. Amonti shoots it out. Mali goes after it for USA. Mali taken out heavily along the boards. Nomakin. Nomakin still skating with it, takes the shot. The save there from Van Beesbrook. Got the stick on it. Mali shoots it out into the neutral zone. The break is on. Coming down. Chapilov is way out. The save. McKechnie is there. That's in the net. The Americans continue to come up with strange things, and they make it work. Very quickly, the long pass is thrown across. McKechnie is off and running. His head is down, Trofilov sees it and comes out and pokes the puck away from him. But there's Tom Fitzgerald coming in to help out. Two Soviets back. Neither one of them can manage to keep the puck from going over the goal line. There's Trofilov, who's yeah, well out of the play. Yeah. Two Soviet defensemen there. Yeah, they just can't do it. The Americans have pulled back to within one. Fitzgerald gets his first goal and first point of the tournament. What a way to do it against the Soviet Union. 5-4, the Americans are coming back. Kravchuk along the boards. Makarov loses that, and the Americans really are jumping on these loose pucks. Brown in the corner. Sacco. Still along the boards, Sacco shoots it into the far corner. A lot of stuff happening off the plate with Zamnov going up against Brown, Kravchuk, Makarov. Oh, a nice little move there for Kozlov. And again, Van Beesbrook makes a meal of it. Five to four, the score here in the second period. The American flags are going. There's a lot of Swedish colors in the crowd cheering for the Americans. The Americans coming back in force. Four players around Van Beesbrook to help him out on that one. And this one is far from over. Nine goals have been scored. And it's still only the second period. Hutsayev. Wolinen to the far side. Kusadov couldn't keep that in the zone, and Butsayev goes back to the far side. Zelipukin squeezed out of the play, dumped to the ice by Manta. Wolinen to the far side. Cole. A nice pass up to Miller. Miller on the boards. Miller taking on uh, Fatisov. He loses out the long pass to the far side. Wolinen goes back. A lot of white shirts coming back to help out. Mullen eventually cleared it out. Eight minutes gone in the second period. Fatisov to the far side. Bartolmov shadows his man. Peterson, Danton Cole. Miller, Miller takes a shot. That takes a deflection. Manter couldn't get a stick on it. And this time it's the Soviets shooting it down the ice to relieve the pressure. The two goals that the US have scored have really lifted them. There's Flying high, they're all over the ice. You can see the players coming off, breathing hard, taking a well-deserved rest. Tim Taylor pumping the boys up, trying to get things going. The Soviets are in a little bit of trouble of their own. Well, the Soviets are playing without Larionov, Krutov, Tatarinov, and Kristich. Four of their biggest stars from days gone by, but uh, a lot of people said they didn't need them. They had the talent, they had the depth. But right now, they're under pressure from the United States. Ronick. Amonte, he's got Krieger out front. Ronick in the corner, too hard for Ronick. Amonte, Krieger. 
Krieger goes for a skate, takes a hit there from Konstantinov. Ronick goes in to help out. Still along the boards, no one giving anything away. That comes all the way back to Williams. The save there from Trefilov. That comes out to Kamensky. Kamensky with nine minutes gone in the period, dropping that off. Tipped into the corner by Pavel Buda. Kamensky there to help out with Bikoff. Bikoff to Kamensky. How they can stick handle in such close quarters, I don't know. Pavel Buda missed that. All the way back to Konstantinov. Kamensky couldn't hang on to that. Ronick along the boards. Amonti on the right wing. Ronick. Look at Weinrich coming to the bench. His arms were flapping. He wasn't pleased. Here he is approaching the blue line. Watch Amonti in the right side of your picture. Number three is just ahead of Weinrich. Good call by the linesman. The Americans seem pumped up. They're going to have to be careful, though, through all the adrenaline flowing, not to forget positional hockey. The Soviets like to work the puck out wide, and they'll catch him out. Miranov gets that up along the boards. McKechn shoots it back in. Kravchuk takes a swipe at it. The Soviets happy again to just clear it out of the zone. Good look there at uh, Guy Goslin. Plays hockey in Sweden. Spent some time with Quebec. And Viktor Tikhanov knows he's in a game right now. Five to four is the score. And it hasn't been all one-way traffic as originally predicted at the start of this one. Trefilov, 22-year-old goaltender for Dynamo Moscow between the pipes has looked sharp, but he's also had his moments where he wasn't too sure at the other end of the rink, John Van Beesbrook. Well, for my money, he shouldn't be there. He's not ready for this one. His head isn't in it. A long way to go now as Semak brings it over. Tipped away by Van Beesbrook right in front of the goal. Van Beesbrook goes down, takes a poke at it. We're going to have a penalty on the play. The shot, Semak is there. Miranov came right in. The penalty is going to go against USA. It's a delayed penalty. They touch it, and the whistle blows. High sticking the call. A lot of action around the front of Van Beesbrook. He came up with a couple of big saves in that situation. E. Goslin throwing the weight around in front. The puck's still bouncing crazy. Like Matt out there, actually, Lomakin really gets sat down. Mali's in front of the goal. Goslin comes into the picture. His elbow's high. You can see uh, the referee go to the penalty box and issue a high sticking call. I can believe elbowing, but high stick, I find hard to believe. The stick was way down. That's right. Goslin's shaking his head. He doesn't believe the call. He thought it was a good check. But he'll be there for two minutes, and the Soviets will have another power play. Zamnov in the faceoff circle. Well, just for that moment anyway, Kozlov will probably take his place. Kozlov settles down for the face-off now. And the linesmen are really strict on setting up for this uh, face-off, or for any face-off, for that matter. I've never really seen so many guys kicked out of the face-off circle. The break with Emma going all the way down the ice. Kazatanov got to it first, and Emma is seeing duties as a penalty killer. Kozlov, Zemnov, back to Konstantinov. Looking for Zemnov. Kozlov just wasn't hard enough with the pass. Rolling in to the far side, passes it up to Emma. He takes his time with that one to kill it off. Back on the attack now, the Soviets. Makarov. Losing control just inside the blue line. Dave Emma couldn't get a handle on that. Zamov. Kazatanov. Makarov into the corner. The return pass deflected nicely behind the goal. Makarov is out there. Zamov is out there really jamming up the front of that goal. A lot of pushing and shoving as they set this one up. The Americans trying to maintain that box. Kozlov is out there throwing his weight around the 18-year-old. 
number nine, and comes all the way over to Fatisa. To the far side, the slap shot comes in. Van Riesbrook makes the save, he goes down, that's in the net! Kozlov, 18-year-old, looks so calm and cool as he put that in the back of the net. It's fun to watch, power play situation, Makarov, the experienced 32-year-old who plays with the Calgary Flames. He's out there with a couple of kids, you can see the full face mask. Good backhand shot from young number nine, Kozlov, and he's got a goal. The save initially from Van Beesbrook. The rebound came right out. Watch the rebound come right out. Kozlov is there, and he makes no mistake on that. Six to four is the score here in the second period. We're going to take a short break right now. Join us in a minute. Islanders are supporting just about everyone. They got the finished gear on and the American flag. Another great crowd here in uh, Turku as that one whistles all the way down the ice, 38 seconds on the penalty. Weinrich runs interference. Kravchuk takes his man out. The Americans now working right in with Amonti, and he just couldn't shoot the puck. Spun off the play as Weinrich goes back into the neutral zone to pick it up. That shot all the way down the ice. You're on off to the far side, that's a giveaway. Amonti's right in front, looking for the pass that comes over this side to Ronick, who gets it back. Weinrich fakes the shot to the far side. A shot from Amonti. Eventually, the rebound off the boards is cleared out to the blue line. Tredowitz, Semak get the stick on that, and the Soviets are back at full strength. It's a three-on-two break. Right in front of the goal, Ben Biesbrook goes down, makes the save. Alexander Semak was there. The Karoff to the far side. Oh, a lovely little pass by him. The tip is there. Miranov to the side of the goal. Semak will go after this one along with Konstantinov. So many Soviets skating all over the ice. It's almost like they have too many players down there. Van Biesbrook makes a save, goes down, makes another save. Van Biesbrook, with shots coming from all angles, is pulling his game together here in the second period. Van Biesbrook does well here. One save, Ronick can't clear the puck, loses it. Another save, Van Biesbrook quickly reacts and makes a great third save. A sure goal taken away from Semak, who has three shots right here within a few seconds. One, two, and now the third one, and it's in the glove of Van Biesbrook. Good job from John Van Biesbrook. Semak going to the bench, shaking his head, bleeding from the lip. He doesn't know what to do to get a goal. Zamnov and Mali. Zamnov wins it, gets it back to the blue line. The shot, Van Biesbrook makes the save. The rebound comes way out, and it's picked up by Manta. Eventually cleared in by Fitzgerald. Kazatanov takes his man out of the play. Kozlov picks up the loose puck in the circle. The Soviets can't clear it out. McEachern goes after his man. Some good forechecking from him, but now the Soviets breaking. Looking to get by Wolinen. Wolinen a bit too tough right on that red line. Makarov over the red, handling nicely, gives it off. The save is there. Kazatanov had a shot from close in. And again, Van Viesbrook comes up with a big save. I have a feeling he must have heard me tell coach Tim Taylor to take him out of the game because I didn't think he was playing that well. And he said, I'll show that guy. Whoever or whatever he's heard, Paul, he's coming up with some big saves. A little bit of rough stuff after the play. There's the shot from number seven, Kasatanov. Van Biesbrook has got it. Watch the action that follows. Zamnov has shown that he's not going to stand in front of the goal. He spun around and knocked down. A couple other players come in, and they battle it out around the front of the net. Face-off coming outside the zone because Konstantinov, number 16, came in from his blue line spot and got involved in the action around the front of the net, so that will move the puck outside the zone. Biakin lost control of that and eventually it comes back to Malakov, and the Soviets with a nice little pass there to Biakin, who shoots it to the far side. Goslin, Goslin being shadowed by Bartolmov. Zelipukin gets in there. 
The youngsters on the fourth line now getting a share of the action. Biakin, such a good little forechecker. The loose puck is right there. Picked up by Brown, but uh, Goslin was with his man all the way. The net eventually knocked off its moorings. As you mentioned, Paul, players coming off the bench. The third, maybe the, some of them are fourth line players. 18. Bartolnov really going for it here. The net is dislodged. 28, Zelpukin, another guy who doesn't get a lot of ice time, really getting in there, getting stuck in. They want a regular shift, and they're going to prove that they deserve one. The Americans are being told by Johansson that they're taking too long on the shift. I understand. Hey, they go over the boards, we go over the boards. Tim Taylor trying to show the referee why he's involved with Yale University. I don't know if it's going to work at all. But he's saying they go over the boards, we go over the boards. Johansson's saying, no, you do this, they do that. Anyways, the play will continue. Tim Taylor, the coach, and a gentleman right to the very end. I'm sure in the NHL, the coach would have had a few things to say to the official other than yes, sir, and no, sir. Very calm, very cool, under pressure here. The American coach, a lot of university, international experience as Danton Cole starts things up for the Americans. Williams now. Williams shoots it into the Soviet zone. Less than four minutes on the clock. Kamensky gives that one away. That's tipped right in front. Miller shoots it back into the corner. Cole back to the Williams, and he takes the shot. And that's deflected at the last moment. Ryan Mullen positioned right in front of the goal. Tried to get a piece of that one. Good work up front from Danton Cole. Very aggressive on the forecheck. There's Mullen in front. Trefilov didn't see much of that shot coming from Williams at the blue line. Ronick in the face-off circle. The Chicago Blackhawks star. So adept at taking that face-off. Kravchuk has that poked away from him. Behind the goal is Krieger. Krieger being pressed against the woodwork by Kravchuk. The pass out onto the right wing is Lomakin. Lomakin goes on his own. Van Biesbrook is down to make the save. Pushed to the far side by Wollenen. Wollenen gets the return pass and gives it back to Mantha. Mantha being shadowed by Lomakin. Krieger. Play has slowed right down here as we approach the 17-minute mark of the second period. Both teams have been skating hard throughout the first and second period. Ten goals have been scored. The Soviets lead it 6-4. to four. And we still have a third period to play. The Soviets showing their forecheck. Nemchinov always dangerous in the corners. Ties up Manta, and they're forced to take the face off. Both teams will change, keeping fresh bodies on the ice. Zamnov against Mali. Zamnov picks it up. Mali grabs him, tries to push him along the boards. Some great strength there from Zamnov against Mali. Gets it right in front. Zamnov, only 20 years old, is playing like a veteran out there. He's skating in front of the net now. Kozlov, who's only 18, gives it off to Zamnov. He's taken out of play. Konstantinov gets the shot. That took a deflection in the corner. And the Americans now. Mally breaking, looking for the pass. The pass didn't come, but Fitzgerald has a chance to get this one. Tipped into McEachern. McEachern working with Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald hooks and brings his man down. Eventually tumbles head first into the boards. Hot 
Why sticking is the call, and Fitzgerald must be hurting after that one. Tom Fitzgerald going all out on the shift. Wants the mouthpiece out so he can give the ref some more verbal. Both teams really hooking and going at each other. It was pretty much 50-50. Konstantinov had had a good hook on him earlier. It isn't going to matter. Johansson's already gone to the penalty box. He knows who he wants. Fitzgerald happens to be the man. Now you can see the referees calling for more players to join him. Fitzgerald, 22 years old, plays for the New York Islanders in the NHL. Very fiery player, really goes all out. Eventually, number nine, Koslov, makes his way to the box. We play five, five on five, four. four. You can hear the Swedish referee. Five, five four. One, one on the box. Yeah. Weinrich is in the box. Now he's out of the box. Yeah. There's Konstantinov going to the corner. Fitzgerald gives him a hug. They both go crashing into the boards. Fitzgerald's neck sort of disappeared into his jersey on this one. Watch this, crunch. That's why they wear helmets and shoulder pads. Weinrich and young Kozlov got involved and they go to the box for roughing. Those two penalties happening together, they'll play five on four. So it's starting to get physical down on the ice. Six to four is the score. The Soviets leading the Americans here in the second period. The Soviet coaching personnel trying to work that one out. Wolinen goes back on the defense. The pass comes over now to Kusadov. Kusadov with less than two minutes on the period gives it to Kamensky. Kamensky works his way right in front of the goal. Pavel Böde drops it back to Kamensky. Kusadov. Kamensky. Kamensky takes the shot. But Tisov in the far corner. Looking for Kamensky. Has that batted off his stick. Manta doing some hooking, doing some holding. Pavel Buda. The Americans not allowing that box to break down. But Tisov to Pavel Buda. A nice little move by him to put it off the boards. He gets the return pass. He takes the shot. And Wiesbrook gives it out and eventually the USA cleared out of the zone. Kamensky. 55 seconds on the penalty. Right in front is Peacock. Van Wiesbrook is there to make the save. Pavel Buda walking right in front of the goal. Pavel Buda so clever for a young kid. Always has his head up, looking for the pass. Keeps coming, decides to come around the front of the goal himself. Van Beesbrook doing a good job as there's two Soviet forwards camped out right in front of him. Bikoff was there as always. That's the place you expect to find him. When Pavel Bora or Kamensky comes from behind the goal, 57 seconds on the period, 48 on the penalty, right in front. The shot there coming from Lomakin was wide of the target. Well, he's gonna smack himself for that one. He had a wide open shot on goal. I don't think he realized just how much time that he had on that one. Elected to take a lazy backhander and got nothing for it. Yaronov, the defenseman, flips it to the far side. The Soviets still with the pressure on. Back to the blue line. Yaronov takes the shot. That's wide of the target. It comes out to the far side to Lomakin. 20 seconds now on the period. 10 seconds on the penalty. The box still maintaining its shape for the USA. 10 seconds on the penalty, Fitzgerald jumps on the ice, and Miranov picks up the puck. Some good stuff there by the USA to kill off that penalty. There goes the buzzer. 
to end the period, but there's real, really no stop in the action. Both teams throwing their weight around. The score after two periods of play here is six to four. The Soviets in the lead over USA. We're gonna take a break now. Join us in a moment for the start of the third and final period. We'll be right back. Semak. And you can see the linesman telling Semak to face head on or get out of the circle. So Nemchinov will try his luck. Nemchinov wins it, gets it back to the blue line. That takes a deflection into the far corner. Krieger. Krieger chips that nicely, looks for the return pass. Tipped down by a high stick, and so we'll have another face-off. Krieger, once he gets those wheels moving, he really can motor down the ice. It helped him greatly against the Finns when he scored that winning goal. That's the kind of thing now the Americans need to get themselves closer into this one. There's the replay of the high stick, the face-off coming back into the American zone. Weinrich takes his man out of the boards, and that goes back to Tredowitz. The tip just trickles out. Semak looking for the return pass. The break now on. Krieger on the backhand side being shadowed there by Kravchuk. Krieger looking for someone to pass to as he tries to get it out. Kravchuk is all over him. Ronick goes in to help out. Ronick pumps that into the corner. Back to Ronick, the shot. Krieger just put it wide in the net. Krieger stopped the shot from Ronick. Weinrich picks it up now. Some good stuff from the Americans as they bring themselves back into this game here in the third period. That shot was wide of the net. This line of Amonti, Krieger, and Ronick so quick, and they do a lot of work on the forecheck. Goslin to the far side. Shot into the corner. McKechnie tried to get it out. Makarov. The return pass to him. Makarov, always looking for someone to pass to, gave it to Moranov, but he was closely covered. Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald, the wraparound is right there. McKechnie comes in, takes the shot. He scores, but was the net off its moorings. The Swedish official has his arms out to indicate no goal. He clearly has stated no goal. His arms immediately went out. The net was off its moorings before McKechnie put the puck in the goal. Good work from Fitzgerald, really working hard, keeps his legs going. Puts the puck out front. Both the players, Mali and Zamnov, are tied up. They're the ones that get the net to come off its moorings. There they are, pushing against Trofilov. Now McKechnie comes in, throws a backhander into the net, but it's too late. Face off in the neutral zone now with Mali tipping that forward. Kazatanov on the backhand flip. Intercepted there by Peterson. He gets it out of USA territory, and Kazatanov will do it all again. Intercepted by Malley. Malley tapping it forward to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald takes the shot. The save is there. The Filov getting a piece of that, and that scoots into the corner. And the Soviets break now. Zamnov. The shot goes off a skate, and that deflects into the corner. Kazatanov. Along the boards, batted back by Peterson. Makarov. Makarov, around one man. Three minutes gone in the period. Makarov being tied up there by Peterson. And that's the best way to stop Makarov. Go after the body and just hang on. Emma, who hasn't seen a lot of action, is taken out of the play nicely in the neutral zone by Zamnov. The give and go there just didn't come off as Sacco intercepted. That took a weird bounce, and the Americans now under pressure from the Soviets in their own zone. Butsayev in the corner, being shadowed by Sacco. Well, it took a long time for the whistle to come, but the referee lost sight of that puck. And so we'll have another face-off. Let's look at this again. Good man-to-man -man coverage. Sacco getting back, helping out. Puck is underneath the players. They'll have a face-off. 
Americans slow to put the uh, new line out on the ice. Sacco, Emma, some of the players that haven't seen a lot of action are getting back in there. Manta hasn't been out for a while. He's well rested. He's back on the ice. And Emma lost the draw. Coming in is Kvartalnov. Kvartalnov stick handling. One too many white shirts out there for him to go any further. Manta has that come off his stick, and the Soviets now back on the attack. Zelipukin, the shot. And Biesbrecht way out of the net to make the save. Really didn't have a move of muscle. Rolling into the far side, looking for Sacco. Picked up by Emma. Trefilov gets a blocker on it. That comes to the side of the net. And the Americans looking for Emma to do the wraparound. Eventually, the Soviets get it out into USA territory, going right in on goal. The save there, Van Biesbrook on Kvartalmov. Some good stuff from Van Biesbrook. Both teams using their extra players, and it's paying off. Sacco's had a good opportunity, as well as number nine, Emma, and now the Soviets with Vartolnov and Zelopukin have had their chances as well. Batisov, the long pass up to Kamensky. Kamensky with Pavel Bura. Kamensky being shadowed there by Weinrich. Weinrich all over him, brings him down. And that comes out now with the Americans breaking with four players up on the ice. Goslin along the right wing. Miller goes after it. Miller taken out of the play. Bikoff couldn't handle that. Five minutes now gone in the period. Petisov, Kamensky. Kamensky to the top of the circle, works his way right into it, and Williams is there. The shot comes. Pavel Burra tries to grab it. Weinrich gives that one up. Behind the goal, Pavel Burra. Burra, the backhander to Kusadov. Too hard for him, and he has to bring it out as the Soviet players come out of the zone. Both teams changing on the fly here. A good little poke check on the blue. Nemchinov will bring it over. Takes a poke from Amante. Goslin stays on him. Ronick goes in and double teams. Nemchinov still brings himself back to the ice and gets back into the play. Krieger puts it behind the goal. The Americans now looking sharp as they bring it out. Ronick. Peterson to the far side. Peterson goes after his man. Peterson takes his man out of the play. Goslin goes in to help out. Nemchinov is brought to the ice again. Amante. Six to four, the score here in the third and final period. The Americans trail by two, but this one is far from over. Kravchuk will have to go all the way down the ice. 20-year-old who plays for CSKA. Looks up at the clock, he gets the call for interference away from the play. You can see the play breaking down the ice. That was the pass that was over to Cole. Two players sliding out of your picture behind it. There you can see him on the left of your screen. Bruseyev is the culprit. He gets the call. A chance right now for USA with the power play for the next two minutes. The break now for Amante, going down. Amante takes the shot, the save there. Trefilov, Beresov picks it up all the way down the ice. Trefilov so quick to react on that shot. Good save from Trefilov. Didn't know where the rebound was, but he made the initial stop. That's the one that counted. Ronick goes after Kusadov, who's lost his stick somewhere along the way. Batisov goes into the far corner, but he doesn't need to do anything about it as Kamensky shoots it down the ice. Fredowitz along the boards, gets it over to Weinrich. Back to Tredowitz. Amonti is there with Ronick. Well, they're going to have to do better than that as Bikoff puts that to the far side and Krieger picks it up. Along the boards, the return pass. And Monty gave it to Krieger. Kusadov missed the check, and Bikoff comes in to help out on this side of the rink. Ronick is in the corner with Tredowitz. Kamensky takes him out of the play. Batisov is brought to the ice. The crowd reacts, but there's no penalty on the play. A last-minute touch there by Bikoff. Gets the puck away from Weinrich. Ronick now over the blue. Ronick takes a chop, but hangs on to the puck. Drops it back. Ronick, the return pass. Ronick now, left all alone in the corner, gets it back to the blue line. 
into the circle, Amonti. Amonti falls for no reason at all. And the Soviets with Fetisov shoot it down the ice. Bad luck for Amonti. He really should have just slowed down and controlled the puck. Oh well, here they come on the fly again, trying to get something going with 10 seconds on their power play. 10 and a half minutes gone in the period. The shot, Trafilov's there, the rebound is right in front. Peterson got a piece of that, it's still not away. Eventually it comes down and the Soviets, Putseyev working his way in, he takes the shot and the goal is dislodged, action at both ends of the rink. Well, they're gonna put the goal back on its moorings and we're gonna take a short break. The score is six to four, the Soviets are in the lead. Turku, Finland, as we rejoin the action in the third period, the Soviets six, the Americans four. What a game we have as Kazatanov gets it up on the wing to Zemnov. It really is wide open here in the third period. A lot of action at both ends. Both teams having their fair share of chances. Johansson calls a penalty for holding to David Williams. Got his man tied up, but Zamnov appears to just lose an edge and go down. He's not really grabbing him. Near the end of it, he might have had the left hand around further than you can see, but uh, Zamnov really goes for a spin. William goes for a spin straight to the penalty box. To Bikoff, Kometa taken out of the plate, and Krieger now comes back. Krieger tips it into the neutral zone. No one there to help him out, and back on the attack is Bikoff. Bikoff. Eventually molested down to the ice. And the Americans clear it all the way down as we approach the 13 minute mark of the period. A lot of support for the USA. Can they get it together and come back? They trail by two. That comes all the way back to the blue. Fatisov. Fatisov, the top of the circle, takes the shot wide of the target. Kusadov. Has a lot of time to wind it up. That one's wide. Bikoff now behind the goal. Bikoff loses possession. That comes back to Fatisov. Buda to Bikoff. Fatisov. Fatisov takes the shot. That took a deflection off Fitzgerald. Fatisov one times it, and that's over the top of the net. It's like a shooting gallery out there with Fatisov having all the goals. Well, you talk about three for a quarter. Kamensky. Kusadov fakes the shot. Kamensky. Kusadov now takes the shot, and that's wide of the target as that booms off the backboards. 17 seconds on the penalty. Goslin takes his man out. Weinrich gets that as far as Kusadov. Fatisov one times at this time, and again they miss the net. The net. One of Fatisov's shots just about murdered Kamensky in front of the goal. He dove out of the way of that one, up off the flexi quite high. Soviets playing good controlled hockey, setting it up just how they want to, just unable to hit the net on this power play. Five seconds remaining on the penalty. A long pass into the neutral zone, picked up by Cole. He waits for support. He's got Miller in front. Kravchuk picks it up, scoots it along the boards, but not far enough. Cole beats him to it. Cole working his way. Gets it right in front. There's a loose puck there. There's going to be a penalty on the play. The Americans are back at full strength. Mullen behind the goal. Miller is right there. The Soviets touch it, and now there's going to be a penalty. Miranov looks at the referee in amazement. He can't believe it. He's going to go to the box for holding. The master explains how the game is supposed to be played to Igor Kravchuk, CSKA Moscow star. Viktor Tikhanov eats, sleeps, breathes ice hockey. He really does dedicate his entire life to this sport. Weinrich on the power play. Nemchinov shadows him. Krieger gets the wheels going. Konstantinov tries to stay with him, and he does. Oh, a great move by Konstantinov. Kazatanov shoots it all the way around the boards and out of the zone. 
And the Americans will have to regroup and start it up again. Ronick is taken out in the neutral zone. Konstantinov, time to collect and backhand it into the zone. Tredowitz, 114 on the penalty. Ronick dropped that back. Danton Cole's shot was deflected into the corner. Amonti goes after it, slices at it, and puts it in the corner, but there's no one there to pick it up. Kazatanov bangs it off the boards as far as Goslin. Goslin back behind the goal. Ronick picking that up in the corner. Ronick drops to the ice. Cole gives it right back to Ronick. The deflection is right in front. Biakin picks it up and goes for a skate. Once again, the Americans really aggressive in the corners, but unable to put a pass together that gets them the shot that they want. Makarov really likes to go out there when the team are down a man, because he likes to rag the puck and go for a skate. Look at this. Just like playing on the pond on a Sunday afternoon when it's frozen over, of course. He gets the puck and he just rags it, dipsy doodle, bobs and weaves, and helps to kill off this Soviet penalty. 13 seconds on the clock for the Soviets to be shorthanded. Wolinen, the tip forward, feathered up to Cole. His pass is knocked down by Fatisov, and Miranov is back on the ice. We're approaching the 17-minute mark. Three minutes on the clock. The backhand right to Tefilov from Cole calls for a face-off and it'll give the teams a, quite a formidable force out there. The Americans with two gold, nine silver, and five bronze. Let's correct that and say three bronze. Fitzgerald on the boards. Pavel Gura. Gura taking on his man nicely. The save there from Van Beesbrook. Manta was all over him. Gura managed to get the shot away. So aggressive is that check just over the blue line. Allowed to flow, intercepted nicely by Krieger. Krieger's on the move now, he's got Malley. The shot, the save, Jafilov pulled that one out of the air. How did he do that? The reaction from the American says it all. He thought he had a goal. Todd Krieger's been so impressive for the Americans. He had the big goal against the Finns. He never stops. Really lets one go. Trefilov did well to come up with that save. A quick snapshot. Got all of it, though. Krieger's a never-say-die player who really can fly up and down the ice. We can't say enough about him. He's having a great tournament. An excellent save from the 22-year-old goaltender. He came up trumps on that one. Six to four, the score. As we approach the 18-minute mark of the period, the Americans now have their work cut out for them. The shot wide of the target coming from Lomakin. Lomakin tries to get the rebound, taken out by Williams along the boards, but the Soviets, Nemchinov gets the shot there. The backhander just doesn't come from Lomakin, and that squirts into the far corner. Weinrich heavily into the boards with Simak. And now the Americans have to come up with something. Krieger on that familiar left wing position goes up against Kazatanov. Krieger fighting all the way, loses out. And the Soviets now bringing it forward. Nemchinov, the return pass to him. Nemchinov right in front, the shot took a deflection. Semak got a piece of that, and that went into the corner. Kazatanov bats it into USA territory. Again, he pumps it into the zone. Ronick wants to get it out, but that's not the way to do it. Both teams very tired. In great hosts. Zamnov loses it this time as we approach the one minute mark. The Americans are on the fly now. Shot into the corner, going after it is Mullen. He's beaten to it, and that's whistled all the way down the ice. Goslin goes after it. And we'll have a face-off deep in Soviet territory. Less than a minute to go. 
Young number nine, Kozlov, the 18-year-old, playing, plays in Kimmich. Having a word with the referee about how he directed the puck with a skate. It isn't going to matter. The faceoff goes back into the Soviet zone. Kozlov asking the ref a couple of times, once about the trip that Cole gave him by kicking his skates out from under him, and then the play that was back in the zone. I don't know if the ref understood a word he was saying. The Americans need something, and they need it quick. Larkin gets set for this faceoff. It comes back to Wolin, and he tips it through. Miller is there. That deflects to the side of the goal. Pumped away by Trefilov, 45 seconds now on the clock. Manta takes a second attempt at that to get it into the zone. Kusadov on the backhand side being shadowed there by Mullen. Cole goes in, but that's flipped out into the neutral zone. The break is on now, Makarov picks it up. Offside is the call. And Makarov has words with McKecker in there. Let's look, look at this again. Well, Tikhanov on the bench nearly smiled as Makarov's off to the races. He takes a good whack on the bum from Mo Manta. The play continues and the words continue. Ronit gets involved here with Zamnov. It's like a tea party out here. All the players in little groups having a chat. 30 seconds on the clock. Americans want to control this face-off. You can see Krieger's fighting for position. He really wants to get exactly where he wants to be, and he's not allowed to. The Soviets win the face-off. Fetisov takes it out of the zone. Well, we're going to have some penalties on the play as it starts to get a bit rough here in the dying seconds of this game. Ronick and Zamnov having a good go at each other. Johansson doesn't like what he sees. One from each team will go to the penalty box. Zamnov on a roughing call. Ronick's going to go for high sticking. Makarov still involved. Not happy with that uh, pat on the bum still, maybe. Having to go at anybody he can get near. The linesmen have done a good job keeping the players apart. watching the car off videos that was a Tyson video that talk him through that 15 seconds on the clock the Americans are not gonna pull this one out they've got 10 seconds the shot is right there a great save and again the action all around the Soviet goal but nothing to show for it for the USA Krieger looks at the clock shakes his head he knows it's over four and five seconds over the years, but I don't think it'll happen today. The Soviets bring it out. Kamensky goes right down on goal. Kamensky, Ben Wiesberg makes the save. There goes the buzzer. And the Soviets held it together as we came out of the third period. Six to four is the final score. The Americans fought hard right to the final whistle, but it wasn't hard enough. The Soviets held on and they win this one six to four. Let's take a look at the standings, the Soviets